Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Thomas O'Donnell has been sending me a flurry of emails for the past few days, and I appreciate them all. I mean, that's what I kind of feed on in terms of creating the content that we push through here at live.perillo.com and, of course, in the archives on YouTube and media.perillo.com. He asks, I have two computers, a laptop and a desktop PC. I always, always use my laptop, but I've upgraded my desktop PC to have 200 gigabytes of space to store transfers and other items I want to know. If I don't use it for so long and then go and use it to edit something, it's slow. Why? You use it and it's fast and leave it for an hour or so and it slows down. Why? Uh, well, the answer to that question could be a variety of things issues and some issues I've run into in Windows Vista as a matter of fact. Uh, this could happen for a few reasons. One reason may be that the power management software uh, in your installation of Windows isn't up to snuff. So the drivers are kind of causing things to be slower when your computer goes to sleep and then you wake it back up to try to do something. Um, and that has actually been a filed bug that has affected a lot of people, myself included, uh, with using Windows Vista. So I'm not sure, Thomas, if you're using Windows Vista at all, but uh, that is uh, one of the reasons, uh, the power management specifically in Windows Vista, or even if you're running XP or any other version of Windows, if that power management software or the drivers related to the power management features of your computer um, aren't perfect, then when you reboot the machine, everything's fine, and then it goes to sleep, whether it suspends or hibernates or something, and then when you wake it back up, it may not be in the same state. Um, this has pretty much always been the case for Windows and power management drivers. And for that reason, uh, you see me rebooting this machine a lot, um, even though I, I let it fall asleep at night, I don't shut it down all the way. Um, and then I wake it up and sometimes I'll have certain issues. Like earlier today, I was having issues with USB. Uh, it wasn't reconnecting because when my computer went to sleep, when it woke back up, things weren't working right. So I had to reboot and getting back into Windows and then I was, for the most part, I was fine again. Um, that is my estimation. It may be related to that, specifically your computer falling asleep. How do you get around it? Uh, I don't know if there's really a way to get around it other than um, you know, checking to make sure you've got the latest drivers installed. Check with your motherboard manufacturer uh, to see, or your, the, whoever created your computer to see if there are any updates specifically for the power management software or components inside your system. There may be a BIOS update and that is, we've talked about before, is the software that allows your computer to see what components are attached to it and control it in, in that capacity before the operating system fully loads or loads at all. Um, you know, or you, you might possibly think about putting the computer to sleep in instead of as quickly as you've got it set, you might set it longer. Uh, it really depends on your habits. Are you using the desktop once a day? If so, um, you know, you may put it into a lighter sleep. Uh, instead of a heavier sleep, they have different levels that you can set inside of uh, Windows, in, again, in your power management software or in the power management applet inside the control panel. Um, trying to think of what else. And you know, this is, this is one area where Mac OS X really shines. Um, I'm sure it has power management issues too, but um, I haven't seen many, if any of them. Uh, I keep my Mac Mini running all the time, and I've opened and shut the MacBook uh, Ponzi's MacBook several times and without ever really rebooting other than for a software update I, it really handles power management far better than Windows and ma it, like PC manufacturers ever have uh, and I don't know if that's going to be the case forever but uh, that's certainly something to consider um, you know as, as you consider your upgrade options and moving forward if it's something that frustrates you um, I don't know anybody else have any tips you never shut your laptop down that's another way of looking at it um, you know, if you if you never shut it down, I I, well, good luck to you. I certainly have shut mine down several times. Uh, but if you have any other power management tips or, or possibly any other solutions for Thomas, uh, by all means, we'll we'll take them all. I mean, we all run into these kinds of hiccups on a regular basis, if not daily basis. Um, 
people are looking for help, uh, any help you can get, leave a comment, remark, whatever. Of course, you can uh, swing by the chat room if you happen to be having a similar issue or maybe a different issue related to power management. We may be able to answer it in a future question. And in order to get over to where we're talking all the time, 24 hours a day, all you got to do is swing by, well, chris.perillo.com forward slash live or even easier, live.perillo.com.